Is it really possible to run Linux on the Wii U? It is. Ah, the Wii U. Not exactly the most powerful console of its generation, but if something has RAM, CPU, and was built in the last 20 years, then chances are it can run some variant of modern Linux. And that's what this video is about, the Linux Wii U project. It hasn't really been updated since 2019, but I was able to get everything up and running, and Linux fully booting on the Wii U, along with XOR working as you saw in the intro. But anyway, moving on to how to actually do this. Okay, so how does one actually get around to doing this? Well, there's two main things we have to worry about. Number one, the actual Linux system on a USB in this case, and number two, booting into that system. Today's video revolves around the Linux Wii U project, which supplies both of those things. So all we really have to do is download an archive of a root file system for Debian for PowerPC, then extract that onto a USB formatted with the Linux file system, then use their default dtbimage.wiiu and fw.img file files which you can go and put on the homebrew SD card we use for the Wii U. Did I mention you need some homebrew experience to pull this off? You see, the Wii U can run custom firmware called HaxG, and using a tool called CBHC or Cold Boot HaxG, we can essentially auto-boot it at boot. But CBHC doesn't have to boot into HaxG, it can also boot into the FW.IMG file we put on our SD card, so then it can boot up into Linux. So once that's done, it should just be as easy as plugging in the USB, booting into Linux, getting an internet connection somehow and begin messing around? Well, sorta. Booting into Linux works perfectly fine, so moving on to the network. Now Linux on Wii U doesn't actually support the Wi-Fi hardware in the Wii U, so we're going to have to plug in a phone and use USB tethering. So that's essentially when a phone is connected to a network and is able to send that network over to a computer with a USB port. So after editing the Etsy network interface file and turning on this USB tethering, we're connected to the internet. Now comes the issue it took me two days to fix. Package management. So the Wii U has a PowerPC processor, but it's a PowerPC 32-bit processor, which the latest version of Debian doesn't actually support. So what do I do now? Well, I tried looking for repositories online, but initially had no success. Okay, well, maybe I could use Kimu and KVM to load up a PowerPC virtual machine and download packages that way. Oh, and there's a Void Linux port for PowerPC 32-bit. Maybe I can try that. These were awful ideas. In fact, Void Linux just wouldn't boot at all. But eventually, I stumbled upon a Power Mac wiki post that explained exactly what to do in this predicament. And guess what? It had repositories for PowerPC 32-bit, the architecture of the Wii U. So after adding those to my app sources, I was finally able to upgrade the system. And it took an eternity, because it's all running off a USB stick. Speaking of USBs, only the back ports work. Bluetooth works, but only one core of the three cores on the Wii U's CPU work. Basically, a lot of things don't work including Hardware Accelerated Xorg. But Linux on Wii U does support Xorg, so what if I tried installing a desktop environment? Say, XFCE. Well, I tried installing XFCE, and it gave me an error. I tried installing Xorg by itself, and it also gave me an error. It turned out a package named libisl22 was missing from the system. The thing is, libisl23 is present on the system, just not libisl22. And it's nowhere to be seen in those PowerPC 32-bit repositories I was talking about before. So I downloaded libisl23, changed the name to 22 in the configuration file, package it back into a deb, put it on a USB, throw it onto the Wii U, installed it, and tricked the system into thinking it was there. I mean, I'm sure that's not gonna cause any catastrophic issues yet. But anyway, with all that figured out, I could finally install XFCE. So does it run? 
Surprisingly, yes, it took a while to load and it was really awful because it's not hardware accelerated, but XFCE4, the version in the Debian unstable repositories, works perfectly fine on the Wii U. Obviously, this isn't actually usable for anything besides a fun little project. I mean, at most, you could use this for a server, but I wouldn't believe a Wii U is very cost effective. But in the end, the question was answered. Can the Wii U run Linux? Yes, it can. Awfully but it can. And no, before you ask, it cannot run Arch. It will never be able to run Arch because there are no PowerPC versions of Arch out there. Anyway, if you have any suggestions of something to test out on the Linux Wii U, then feel free to drop them in the description. Before you ask, try web browsing. Well, I tried installing Firefox and that gave me the same error from before with the libraries and I am not making more random Debian packages that are falsely named. But still, feel free to comment any ideas, thoughts, or just leave a like on this video. It was super fun to experiment and make, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I was Denshi, goodbye.